Hi, I'm Dave Hetrick from KRK Systems. I'm here to show you our newest product, uh, which is the Ergo Room Correction Device. With KRK, all we've ever made are studio monitors, and we've always uh, strived to make the best monitors on the planet, and I think we succeed. The thing is, we found is if you put the best studio monitor in the planet in a screwed up room, you're still gonna have issues getting the mix that you want. We worked with a company called Lingdorf, who developed a room correction algorithm called Room Perfect which has over 10 years in research and development. What we've done is we've adapted it to, for use in the modern control room. So the core functionality of Ergo is the room correction and the room correction algorithm. Uh, the algorithm has 1,024 correctional filters. Uh, so it can hear the difference between a boost in your room at 100 hertz and a dip in your room at 101 and correct both of those. And 1,022 more, That's some quick math. So the core system consists of a measurement mic, ships with the measurement mic. You plug it into the back of Ergo. Ergo connects to your computer via Firewire. You install the software and bring up the control panel, which steps you through the process of tuning your room. Basically, you connect the microphone. It asks you to set it in a focus position, which is basically where your ears are going to be. And it sends out a number of test tones into your room. Once it does that, it asks you to move the microphone randomly around your room to get another measurement. And what's unique to the Room Perfect algorithm is that it compares the focus position with another room position. Here's the differences between the two and generates uh, what knowledge it has of your room. And then asks you to move the mic again and does an, uh, another random measurement of your room, compares the three, and tells you how to go on. A lot of our competitors just do a sweep of the room and that's it. Um, or they ask you to do multiple ones and it averages it. With the Room Perfect algorithm, and this is very, very crucial to the success of tuning your room, it, it listens to the differences between the different measurements and determines how many more measurements you need to do before it gives you a flat room. Um, so that stores in two basic modes in the Ergo, which is a focus mode, which is when you're sitting in between the two speakers where you would be when you're mixing, or a global mode, which is an average of all of the measurements around the room. So basically is one for the mixer, and the other is for when you bring the band into the control room and everybody wants to hear it flat. So that's the core functionality, again. Um, once you're finished with the correction, it stores it in Ergo, at which point you can disconnect it from the computer and it stores it here. Ergo also has a speaker switcher. It has an A, correction for one set of monitors, uh, and then you can switch to another set of monitors for which you'll have to do another tuning because each different monitor is going to excite the room in a different way. So you can do an A or B correction with two different sets of speakers. You can see on here it has A or B slash sub. So what you can do is have A connected to your satellite monitors, B to your sub, and it does a separate correction for your sub. There's also another control panel you can bring up that allows you set the to set the crossover frequency of your sub, and Ergo will automatically set the level of the sub for you. Mixing with the subwoofers, I think, is extremely important, especially today with the mixing 24-bit 96K, where you're hearing the low frequency extension, and there's a lot of low-end content going on that we didn't used to have back in the analog days. The thing is, is um, when you use a subwoofer, it couples with your room in a certain way that can make it very difficult to calibrate. You also have a transducer on your floor that's giving you low frequencies, and a transducer up on stands or up on your console that's giving you low frequencies. And you have a lot of phase anomalies in there. Ergo corrects for all of that. So it's very, very important. So again, a speaker switcher, or an A and B with a sub. You have both focus and global mode. You also have a digitally controlled but analog passive volume control. So this can work as your control room volume, and it's very transparent. The ins and outs of Ergo is that you can use it in analog mode. So you can just come in analog, does the correction, sends it out to whatever pair of monitors you want. You can come in digital, so you can use SPDIF. This is what we find a lot of our Pro Tools users are using as they come out their main out into this digitally, does the uh, correction and sends it out analog. It will actually function as a Firewire sound card if you would like. And you can even use it to record via the inputs and uh, it has separate outputs. Even the headphone out is a discrete output that you can route using your DAW through Firewire um, and has a nice uh, little volume control on the side. It also has a Kensington lock uh, to keep it from walking away from all your criminal clients. 
Um, that's the basics of Ergo. Uh, it works for both Mac and PC. It's extremely uh, versatile using an analog, digital, or through FireWire mode. And it's available in stores now, as is my newest CD. You can find information there at davidhetrick.com. Any questions?